let's go to Queensland because the LNP in the state election up there, they've got a plan to get tough on Townsville and Cairns' biggest issue, and that's youth crime. Ten days until Queensland heads to the polls, opposition leader Deb Frecklington has a controversial new curfew on plan. There is an immediate problem that needs fixing. Now, Townsville and Cairns has a crime problem. Uh, we would like to see how the trial um, runs out, but I'll say this. If kids are on the street at midnight, there's got to be a problem at home. And this is a preventative measure to ensure that kids are kept safe and people who are living in their homes in places like Townsville and Cairns are kept safe. Philip Thompson, he's the federal member for Herbert. He's currently in Canberra, but I wanted to get you on, Philip, because you and I talked about youth crime up around your area many, many times. I know there's a lot of anxiety, a lot of anger, actually, in your community. How's this policy gone down? It's been received uh, very well, Peter. Uh, people in Townsville have been held hostage for many, many years. Uh, the crime uh, is out of control, and especially youth crime. People uh, are terrified in their homes. Uh, have victims of crime call me nearly daily. Um, multiple people uh, talking about this issue, and the, the state Labor government hasn't done anything. The three local Labor MPs, who are clearly Brisbane's voice in Cam uh, Brisbane's voice in Townsville, um, have been saying at the start there wasn't a problem. We'll fix the problem, and now we're in election. They're like, oh, we'll do more. Uh, they, they haven't done anything, and uh, what I did today is I grabbed some stats. So in Townsville, mm -hmm. uh, since they've been uh, in power, uh, the Labor state government, robbery in Townsville has gone up 162%. Stolen cars are up 99%. Uh, Break-ins are up 87%. Assaults, up 43%. And that's huge. So I, I then went to Anastasia Palaget's uh, electorate to find out what her stats were like. And robbery, it has gone up, but it's gone up 2% compared to the 162% uh, in Townsville. Stolen cars are up 2% compared to the 99% in Townsville. And assaults are actually down 3%. So they're out of touch. They're not listening to the people. And to be honest, this is far overdue. And I'm glad that Deb's come up uh, to Townsville with a plan. When we talked about it before, we know it's a lot of young people. And the police are saying, you know... It's very hard for them to do much. There's such a reluctance to uh, lock young people up. I can understand all of that. These kids are on the street. The parents either don't care or they can't control them. How do you... How do you I mean, you've been in the army, and I know you've done a lot with young people. How do you fix this problem if you don't have a curfew? What's, what's the response otherwise? Well, the curfew is just a cog in the wheel. Uh, we need to ensure that breach of bail means you go to jail. At the moment, you breach bail, a young person breaks into your house uh, and in the evening, gets released in the morning and does it again in the afternoon and the revolving door just continues. Uh, the failed bail houses, we're going to scrap them. Bail houses, we have two in Townsville, $2,600 per day. Um, it, they don't work. The reports have shown they don't work. We need to get rid of them. But we also need to be uh, keeping these young people and their families and their parents to account. Uh, the, the curfew is not a silver bullet. We know that. But mm -hmm. it's about mm -hmm. um, trialling something, right? Like, they, no one's done anything in Townsville. The Labor State members have done nothing. And if you, if you break into someone's house, you know what? You need to be punished. We need to stop rewarding bad behaviour and start ensuring that our young people are learning some tough lessons, whether it means going out and doing some tough work in the country or it means you've done mm -hmm. it uh, at, at too many times and you need to go to detention. And detention cannot be a holiday camp. It needs to be tough. And we need to be tough on crime because these numbers, these stats I've read out, are just disgusting and we need to do everything we can so the people in towns will feel safe in their homes. Federal Member for Herbert Philip Thompson, I can see why your electorate loves you. Thank you for your time.